Brian's walking all the way over here and he got my attention just to say let me make sure your hair is cutesy for your so Brian has to fix my hair and make sure it's cutesy <laughs> is it cutesy? let me make sure yeah if and when my hair looks really bad for a uh, video it just means that Brian wasn't there to fix it for me <laughs> it's pretty good I think good oh my gosh. Stark just wants to eat it oh though. my gosh it's a horse this is a giraffe oh yeah he is a giraffe he's a good boy it's so bad So here I'm just giving Mazzy a little bit of dewormer. She's actually the better of the two, which is a little surprising considering that she's the wild horse um, and she's only been out of the wild not all that long. I've only had her since December. This is about my second time deworming her. Most horses really don't prefer the dewormer, even though this time I did get the flavored version so that hopefully it would taste a little better but uh, you can see what she thinks of it and she's just got a tiny bit left that I didn't get in so give her that last little bit and there's various types of dewormer that you would use with the horses this one I'm using uh, helps with tapeworms and I chose this one this time normally I get a fecal exam done that'll tell you whatever they've got but uh, the tapeworms won't show up in that exam, so I dewormed for the tapeworms because it's that time of year. And Mazzy has been extremely itchy, which sometimes can be caused by the tapeworms. And then there's Stark, who is usually terrible. He immediately becomes a giraffe, and he usually makes a really big mess. Uh, he really doesn't like any type of the wormer or anything about it, and he sees the syringe and hates it. And you can try like applesauce in a syringe. He hates that too, but he loves apples, so I, I don't get it. He just hates the whole idea of it, I suppose. But he actually did pretty good here. I was proud of him. Clouds are really ominous looking and pointy. And here again, it sounds like a bowling alley. Brian checked uh, radar, and I guess it's a really big storm. It's so pretty though. Ollie's hiding in the bathtub. He actually hid in the bathtub as soon as the wind picked up. Temperature feels much nicer now. It was really freaking hot earlier. Ooh. 
grown a cucumber <laughs> and I've got three. I need to tie this up. Oh my gosh my atomic tomatoes! These things are gonna be all sorts of colors. I'm super excited. As you can tell I just basically started yelling. Sorry. Um, I need to come pick some of these little red ones and eat them today. Tomorrow I think. And I need to trim this stuff. My herbs are looking pretty good though. And then, oh, and this is eggplant. Wait, no, that's cucumber. Lord, keeps trying to climb up the eggplant. I keep trying to get it off. Uh, I don't have the eggplant properly set up, but this garden is teaching me a lot. Horses are not a big fan of the 4th of July celebrations. There's fireworks going off like just past the arena. I'm very glad that I left them in tonight. I figured if they're calm enough then I will let them out. Mom, wave to the camera. This is my mom. Her name's Bob. Just kidding. Her name's not Bob. Rosie's not as bothered by it as Stark though. But she's also an introvert, so she's not. She handles the stresses and pressure differently than Stark does. Stark just is running around in circles in his stall. Nazi's just chilling, kind of freaked Seems out. Good, yeah. yeah. She keeps seeing him though. I'm very glad we stayed home. And I'm very glad that I decided to leave them in. Mazzy might have jumped a fence or something tonight. And of course Stark is just pacing around doing his Starky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 